Hi there, in this video we are going to talk a little bit about Auto DLI RSSI which is commonly installed in a lot of seed boxes today. This video is ideal if you want to know a little bit about what this is and how you would use that. So we're going to touch on the, the following topics. Um, first of all, what is Auto DLI RSSI on my seed box? Um, if you have it available in your seed box, you don't have to use it, it's not mandatory, it's simply available for you. Um, simply put, IRSSI is an IRC chat client, um, and AutoDL IRSSI um, is a tool that allows you to uh, use the chat client to process taunts that are posted onto IRC announced channels. Why do people download AutoDL IRSSI? Um, I guess there are two reasons why people would do this. Uh, the first and the most common is to automate or set up automatic downloading. Um, so you can set for, you know, if you are downloading TV shows as they are released on a frequent basis, you can set up AutoDL IRSSI to pull down the torrent files and post them as they are posted onto the torrent site. And I guess the other reason why people would use this um, is for torrent racing. So people who are wanting to download and process torrents uh, as quickly as possible where they have fast connections and fast seed boxes or uh, VPS, then they may use the tool to do this. Uh, the next two points that we have here have slides of their own. So how does auto DLI RSSI work and how do you configure this? Let's take a look at both of those now. So how does it work? Well, what happens is torrent trackers um, will post a message onto an announce channel on IRC when a torrent has been uploaded to their site. Um, you can join that announce channel, you know, if your torrent does support such um, IRC channels and they have an announce channel, you could join that today as a normal user to have a look and see what's being posted there. Ultimately what happens is on your seed box, auto DL IRSSI will run as a chat box, a chat bot, um, and will sit on that announced channel. It'll look at each of the posts as they are posted onto the IRC chat. Now within auto DL IRSSI, you can configure filters. And if one of the taunts that is posted onto the announced channel matches what you have configured in one of your filters, It'll grab the torrent file and it'll process it within the rtorrent client automatically. And then there are also some post processing options that you can take benefit from as well. So when torrents are completed, if you want to put them into a specific ratio group or move them to a specific folder, um, there are some configuration options available for that as well. And those may be limited depending on what services or facilities are available in your particular seed box. How do you configure this? Um, well, here are the higher level steps. In the video description, I have posted a link to the documentation for this, um, and I would recommend taking a look through that because it'll help you get started initially. But these are the, I guess, the, the five steps that we're going to go through. Um, and we're not going to do this in the video. This is just purely for information to help you get started at this point in time. Um, if you would like me to publish a video showing the end-to-end -end process setting this up, please let me know and I can organise that. Um, so the first thing you have to do, assuming that the seed box you have does support auto DLI RSSI, the first thing you have to then do is check the torrent tracker that you're using to make sure that first of all that they allow automatic downloads and if they do, find out the details of their IRC announced channel. So this is where they are posting any details of new taunts as they're posted. Now, within your uh, taunt tracker, um, you want to take a look at their forums and find the specific details of um, how to use the IRC announced channel. Some of them have some specific uh, rules in terms of the username that you use, um, and perhaps a specific port as well. So double check that uh, your, your taunt tracker has some specific uh, uh, configuration options for that. The next thing you then have to do is configure the preferences for AutoDL IRSSI within the RTORN application. 
um, specifically the, the dot torrent action. So what do you want to happen with the torrent file? Um, now this can be processing it immediately. It could be putting it into a watch folder, which is the option that I use. Um, and then there are some other options available in there, which can then be used as a default into each of the filters that you use. You then have to add the details of the IRC and image channel to the IRC servers dialog. Um, so within rtorrent, uh, you click on the auto DLI RSSI button, um, and there's a dialog for auto, uh, for, sorry, for IRC servers. You want to put the details of your IRC and image channel in there. And again, check on the tracker forums for the specific detail there. Um, for the, the trackers that I'm using, it was quite quick and easy to go onto their forums and find information that I had to know. Um, so I don't think you'll have any issue finding that. Um, once you've did all that, you want to make sure that, that your auto DLI RSSI is on the chat and is monitoring the messages that come in. Um, now, the quickest way of doing that is to, to join the IRC server for your particular taunt tracker and use the who is um, command to see one that, the, that your chat bot is on there and that they're in the correct room or they're on the correct, um, they're on the anonymous channel and watching that. So forward slash who is, and they put in the chat bot name. So this is what you would have put in in the previous step when you put in the IRC anonymous channel details to the IRC servers dialog. When you put that in there, it'll tell you information such as, um, yes, whether it's there or not, how long it has been online or idle for, and that it's in the anonymous channel or if it's not. Um, in some trackers, you can actually join the IRC Anims channel and look at the user list yourself to see um, that your chatbot is there. And then the final point, which is the, the most important one, and will probably take more time in the process here, is configuring the filters for AutoDL IRSSI. Um, so one thing you can do as a test, and what I do as a test, is to create a filter with nothing defined in there. In essence, that will download everything that's posted onto a particular tracker. It's good to do that um, just as a test to make sure that torrents are pulling through okay. What we're going to do now is take a look at some filter examples. So typically, I find um, creating filters on AutoDL, IRSSI, and Atorn is pretty intuitive. The fields are pretty clearly defined with show name, season, released group. Um, you can pick the type of encode you're looking for, uh, the resolution. It's all pretty self-explanatory. Um, but on the second point here, we'll, we'll come into what isn't so obvious. Um, so you, you can use a question mark and an asterisk as a wildcard to define um, the behavior here. So the example I've used is The Walking Dead. If you type in The Walking Dead with uh, question marks between each of the three words, um, that'll capture The Walking Dead where a space is between those words, where a dot is between those words, or perhaps an underscore. But it wouldn't capture The Walking Dead without any spaces in there. I hope that makes sense. Um, it's worth looking at yourself to understand that. With an asterisk in place, it'll capture anything after the asterisk as a wildcard. So again, the example I've put in here is the walking dead with question marks between the words and an asterisk at the end would capture almost everything um, that had been posted for the walking dead. You can then add, um, for example, uh, a season number with E in an asterisk to capture only episodes within a specific season. Um, you can also add file size filters in there as well. So if you were concerned about capturing season packs or stuff like that, you might want to consider a file size filter to narrow that down. And, and lastly, the, the last bit of advice I have um, is just to go on to your torrent tracker and perhaps also the IRC announce channel to have a look at the format that your torrent tracker is posting the uh, the messages as on the IRC announce channel. And, and that'll help you understand how you have to configure filters to make that work. Um, in my experience, it, it took a couple of revisions to get it working perfectly to how I want it to. Um, but, you know, it didn't take long at all. Um, so it, it's a little bit of trial and error to have a play around with that. I hope this gives you a good understanding as to what auto DLI RSSI is on your seed box. If you have any questions, please comment them below. Um, and if you would like an end-to-end -end setup video, please comment below and again, I'll make that.
Thanks for watching.